at home on their brand new turf on senior night against one of the top teams in the American Conference competing with them for the number one spot. Upper Moreland showed their undefeated record is not an accident. This is a great win for the team. We're 7-0 now. We just opened up this brand new beautiful stadium and hopefully we win the league now. It's just such a great team win. Everybody did their part. Everybody read their keys. Did a great job tonight. Coming into tonight's matchup with Upper Moreland and Quakertown at the top of the standings for the American Conference. Both teams knew that this game would determine who would take the outright number one spot. We were planning to win the league since day one. We've been wanting to go undefeated, go far. We just want to go far and just do the best that we can do because we know we have a good team this year. The Bears have been rolling all season as they have won six straight games and tonight made the seventh. It's special. It's just special. Like, just looking around, just seeing everybody, like, it's just an amazing feeling. It's awesome. With players like Sterling Barr, Caleb Mead, Brendan Alexa, and Brett Brossman, the offense was already a lot to handle, but it was their defense that had a number of big plays to keep Quaker Town from getting any momentum. I personally thought maybe it would be closer, but we, we just played we just played our game and just dominated them. It's awesome. It's, it's such a good, good thing to have people that can be able to play everywhere and be able to make plays when we need to come down to making the plays. And even with an early touchdown at the start of the second half, that cut the margin down to seven. Upper Moreland held them scoreless the rest of the game as they went on to get the big conference win. Man, it, it felt so great. I, my family, everybody's family was in the middle of the field. We all got hyped when they all got out here, and it was a great feeling to win that game on senior night. It's just exciting. Everybody today did their job, and that's why we came out with the W today. What better way to break in a brand new turf field, and it was senior night, as the Upper Moreland Bears defeated the visiting Quaker Town Panthers. For more high school football coverage, you know where to find us on all social media at HS Game On and on our Game On homepage. Reporting from Upper Moreland High School, I'm Renee Washington.